Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual science classroom. This is your teacher, da- teacher Daryl Dan Mundo. Have a great morning, and today we will continue about the discussion in microscope. But first, thank you so much for our opening prayer for this morning, and do not forget to check the attendance secretary. How many boys and how many girls do we have today? Okay, you can send it to me later on our group chat. And as I said a while ago, this topic is all about the continuation about the microscope. So last time, we tackled about the parts, the functions, and how to handle the microscope properly. And this time, this is another thing which is all about the microscope. We need to be familiarized with the different, not just the parts, not just the function, but also the examples and the different the different examples of the microscope and how to focus the specimen so uh, you will focus the specimens using the compound microscope and acquainted with its usefulness especially or specifically this module will help you to learn about simple and compound microscope number two microscope magnification and for lesson number three how to properly manipulate the microscope which is focusing the microscope and the specimen. Okay, are you ready to listen? Okay, so let's proceed. Based on our looking back or our review for the last time, you will see or you will encounter nine parts of the microscope here in our crossword puzzle. So you need to identify and encircle all of those nine parts. Okay, so words may appear horizontal, vertical, Diagonal, it can be also backward and forward, and use these words to identify each of the following. So, may mga questions dyan sa ating module na sasagutin nyo in our looking back. We have nine questions. So, I will give you the answer here in the word puzzle. First, we can see eyepiece. There you go, ilistan nyo na. Then, you can see also stage clips. You can also include the S here, stage clip or stage clips. And then, what else? Very good. You can also see arm. Okay, the letter C part of the microscope. And then, the base of the microscope. Don't forget to list it, okay? And then, you can also see there, fine adjustment. And then, we can also find here, diaphragm. Okay, so you can also find the word mirror. You know what is the use of a mirror, right? And then we have the word stage. And the last word is, can you see it? Okay, very good. It is located at the bottom, the body tube. So those are the nine parts of the microscope that you need to list and for you to answer the different questions here. Okay? So we have eyepiece, we have stage clips, arm, base, Fine adjustment, mirror, diaphragm, body tube, and stage. Okay, do not forget to copy it, okay? For our lesson number one, we will differentiate simple to compound microscope. And to tackle this one, let us have a short introduction. So basically, microscopy is important in the study of living things that not seen in our naked eye because not all things here in this world, can be seen by our naked eyes. Meaning to say, hindi lahat kayang makita ng mata natin. That's why we need the help of the microscope for us to be able to see a very tiny object or minute objects. Meaning to say, napakaliit nila na hindi na kaya makita ng ating mga mata. So we need different microscopes in this case. So a microscope is used to examine specimens from humans, plants, and animals. It is classified into two examples. We have simple and a compound microscope. This is what a simple microscope looks like. And this is what a compound microscope looks like. I know based on the picture, you can see the differences, right? But let's learn more. So what are the differences between the two? Number one, in simple microscope, it has only one type of lens. The maximum magnification of a simple microscope is about 10 times, which means 
that the object will appear 10 times bigger or larger. So, sampung beses yung laki niya. Okay? And it has only one lens. While, on the other hand, compound microscope has two sets of lenses or magnifying lenses to enlarge objects. One is in the eyepiece and the other one is in the objective lenses. Therefore, magnification is greater. Mas malaki, right? Due to the broad range of use, the compound microscope is widely used in research for the study of detailed structure of microorganisms. Microorganisms, these are the small living things. Micro means small organisms, which means living things. Small living things. Okay? And then, for lesson number two, we will tackle about the microscope magnification. Dahil hindi naman natin lahat nakikita, right? We have viruses, and we have bacteria, and we have protozoans. So, yung mga maliliit na mga living organisms na yun, hindi siya kaya makita ng ating mga mata. The most important thing is to know the microscope magnification. Because if we know the microscope magnification, some of those living organisms can be seen. Okay? Especially the parts. So, ang pagkakaiba lang, class, okay, malilito, okay, just additional information. Viruses are not living organisms kapag wala siya sa loob ng host cell. So, kapag nasa labas siya, for example, ng animal, nasa labas siya ng plant, o nasa labas siya ng human, hindi living things ang virus. Kapag nakapasok na siya sa loob ng katawan ng tao, nakapasok siya sa loob ng halaman, o nasa loob na siya ng uh, isang hayop, dun lang siya nabubuhay. Okay? Pero ang bacteria at ang protozoans, buhay na sila, nasa labas man sila o nasa loob man sila ng halaman, ng hayop o ng tao. Okay? So in this lesson, we will learn the microscope magnification. This time, the magnifying power of the microscope or magnification refers to the ability of the lens to enlarge the image of the object. So papalakihin natin. Parang ganito. Una, andito lang yan. Sobrang liit. But when you use the microscope, the objects will enlarge as this one. Okay? You can identify the different parts of the specimen, right? So when compared to the actual object, you can see that the actual is very small, unlike the object once you've seen them under the microscope. When the magnification is 10 times, it means that the image you see using the microscope is 10 times bigger the actual size of the object. The total magnification is obtained by the product of the eyepiece, yung nasa ibabaw, eyepiece magnification, and the objective magnification. At yung tatlong lenses na nasa revolving nose piece. We have the scanner, usually may color red na line. We have LPO, low power objective, may color yellow na line. And HPO, high power objective, na may color blue na line. Okay. And let's continue about how to compute the total magnification because we know that in compound microscope, this is not just one lens. It is composed of two or more lenses, one in the eyepiece and three in the uh, objective lenses. So we have three, scanner, low power, and high power here in this part. And then the eyepiece is 10 times. Okay, and then the objective lenses, it depends. Kapag scanner four times, Low power 10 times, high power 4 e times. Okay, so all you have to do is to multiply. So in the scanner, if the eyepiece is 10 times, just multiply it to 4 times bigger. So the total magnification is 40. LPO is 10 times 10 times. That's 100 times a lot bigger. While on the other hand, HPO, it has 40 times objective lens. So... From the eyepiece, 10 times 40 times, that is 400 times bigger, okay? But however, the ability of the microscope to separate two objects or lines lying very close to each other is called resolving power or resolution. The shorter the wavelength used and the higher the numerical aperture that is the lens, the ability to gather light, the better is the resolution, and the image appears sharper. So, mas maganda kapag mas marami kayong nakakapture na light kasi mas nagiging sharp yung nakikita nyong parts nyong specimen ninyo. 
Okay? Speaking of specimen, we are talking about this one. Okay, these are the sample specimen that we have here. So, ito, kung nakapapansin nyo, we have here blood and a tissue. And then, we have here some parts of the plants and some parts of microorganisms. Okay, so specimen is a part or sample of any material that is a plant, animal, paper, or mineral for study or examination under the microscope. This material is placed in a glass slide. Ito yung glass slide. Ayan, nakikita niyong rectangular na glass na yan for laboratory investigation. Two basic types of preparation are used to view specimen. We have wet mounts and fixed or solid specimen. Let's differentiate the two, okay? So these are the two. So in preparing the specimen, you can see here the first step, second step, third step, and fourth step. In wet mount, the specimen is placed on a slide with a drop of liquid. That's why it, called, it is called wet mount. Solid specimens are also placed in a slide before adding a drop of water to prepare the wet mount. Aside from water, stains are added, kinukulayan. Sometimes we use uh, we use the liquid mertiolet yung ginagamit sa kapag paparinis ng koko. Or sometimes we use betadine or iodine solution. To enhance contrast, then a cover slip is placed on top and the specimen is ready for examination under the compound microscope. Ito yung cover slip. A very thin square glass that is put on the top of the specimen. Okay, para hindi malagyan na kung ano ang dun, anong dumi. Okay, then for lesson number three, we will learn how to focus the microscope. So all you have to do is to follow the step-by-step -step process so that you will be able to focus the specimen clearly and properly. Okay, let's start. For number one, for you to be able to correctly enable you to see the specimen clearly, consider the following steps in setting up the microscope in preparation for use. Number one, carry the microscope by holding the arm with your left hand while supporting the base with your right hand, then put down on the laboratory table with the arm facing towards you, like this one. And number two, check if the LPO is in position. If not, turn the revolving nose piece to put it in place like this one. So, kung meron kayong scanner, pwedeng dun muna at eh, nalilitan kayo. You can revolve the revolving nose piece to LPO and to HPO. But be sure, if my scanner sa scanner, if my LPO sa LPO. Okay? Then, step three. Rotate the disc diaphragm to its largest opening. So, this is what it looks like when it's closed. All you have to do is to move the switch and then it will open like this one. Kapag open siya, mas maraming light ang papasok. So, mas maliwanag at uh, makikita natin mabuti yung specimen. And then, number four. Look through the eyepiece and adjust the mirror until you see a bright circle of light called field of view of the microscope. As you increase the magnification, the field of view decreases. So, mamaya may kita nyo kung ibig sabihin ng field of view. Okay? And dapat, this is what it looks like when you view the microscope. And then, number five. While watching from the side, use the course adjustment to lower the objective towards the slide and the fine adjustment knob to focus sharply on the specimen. After the course adjustment, then the fine adjustment. Then right after that, step number six, if the lens of the eyepiece or the objective are dusty, wipe them gently. Okay, do not forget that. Wipe them gently with a piece of lens paper only. Or if you have the cleaning kit or cleaning material for lenses, do it as much as possible because there are scratches that can harm your eyepiece or objective lenses. Yeah. And then this part, this is what we call the what is this? Cheek cells and uh huh. This is came from a plant. Okay, this is from onion skin cells. So this is what it looks like when you see them under the microscope, cellular level. These are chick cells and these are onion skin cells. Chick cells from animals and humans, onions, skin cells from plants. Okay, 
like in plants they are like they they are region in shape meaning to say they have sides okay para silang may mga kanto while on chick cells or animal cells it's like very smooth and different shapes okay so do not forget to draw this and please put this in your mind what does the chick cells look like and what does onion skin cells looks like okay because this is very helpful next this is the real image of the specimen when you look at them under the microscope. So, ano kaya ang itsura talaga ng mga specimen kapag nakikita natin under the microscope? So, low power objective in LPO cover with a wider field, this is what it looks like. So, ito lang yung makikita nyo kapag LPO, yung part ng ina yan, and then yung part ng ina to kapag wider field na. Okay. So, high power objective, in this case, ay makikita nyo, it gives a larger image. So, we have in LPO, and then we have a larger image here. Okay, so this is what it looks like under LPO and then under HPO. What can you say about the letter E? Mm -hmm. Can you notice something? Okay, very good. So, when you see letter E under the microscope, it is inverted. So, nakabaliktad siya kapag nakita nyo under the microscope. So, that will be the image of the specimen. When you look at them under the microscope, they are inverted. Etong part na to, kapag LPO lang, at under HPO, ito lang yung makikita nyo, like this one. Okay? HPO, ganito siya kalaki. Okay, so that's how you see them based on the different objective lenses. HPO means means bigger and larger image. LPO is lesser. Okay? Then, for our week 2 or quarter 2, do not forget to answer the following. Watch the video to review and rewatch it, okay? Then answer all the questions in your modules that is in your Google Classroom. It can be in your notebook or in your printed modules. So for lesson number one, here are the pages that you need to answer. The pretest on page number three, pages five to six, and do not forget to answer also the looking back, okay? Then for lesson number two, here are the pages, pages six to seven, and lesson number three, pages seven to 10, 13 and 14, then the post test on page 14. So do not forget class, answers only, answers only. Sagot lang. Do not copy. Okay? But you need to, you know, take down notes, especially the important details so that you can answer it very well. Okay? So in this part, do not forget. Sagot lang. Okay? So thank you and that's the end of our week number two. So if you have any questions or suggestions or clarifications you can reach me through my social media account here and please do not forget to answer the online quizzes on your video tutorials okay on our edusci vlogs so you can also reach me through my youtube my instagram and my facebook account so i have my page and also i have my personal account and especially in our group chat and that's the end of our quarter two week number two. So let us learn more for our week number three next time. So I hope you are having a great day and God bless you all. Bye everyone.